Hello, my friends. How you doing? We're back here with lesson three, just taking a look at how to do some simple outputs. Now, we've already been doing this in lesson one and two. We just haven't been explicit in the blocks themselves. And so very, very simple, quick, short little video. You probably already know this, but just to make sure it's clear for you in case you have any confusion. Now, keep in mind in Scratch and in Python, there's many ways to output our data, output whatever it is we're trying to see and display. But in terms of just keeping it simple, in Scratch, there is a block called the Say block, which we'll take a look at here in just a minute. There's also another block called Think. One, it looks like a quotation mark, like the cat or your sprite is actually saying those things. And then Think just makes it look like a thought bubble. They do exactly the same thing. It's just the output in terms of the screen looks a little different, which we'll take a look at. So very, very easy in terms of, of work here. And in Python, it's the same type of thing. We've been using the print statement already. We use print to display whatever the information is to be outputted to the shell. Like when we go to run the program, it's going to be shown in the shell. And the key here is you can use double quotes or single quotes. And what we recommend is picking something and staying consistent with it. Don't do double quotes one time and single quotes the next time. Um, but I'm just making you aware of, aware of this because when you look online, different tutorials, you're going to see some of these back and forth and one isn't right or one's not better than the other necessarily. It's just being consistent in your programming. And so when we look at it side by side, as we can see here, this is what it looks like, right? So we're going to hit print drafts are not real. Okay, that's gonna look the same thing as when we say giraffes are not real. Thinking is uh, pretty much the, the same thing, and there's, I'm just showing you how you can use double quotes or single quotes, and in Scratch we have the say or think. And so let's take a look at this in the actual program. Um, not that it's hard, but just so we can say that we've done it and covered it, and that way if you have questions, you can definitely reach out. So in Scratch, we know that we have to have an event to trigger, whether we're using the keyboard press or the green flag. We're just going to use the green flag at this particular point. And we're just going to go here to the looks in the purple. And we can go here to the say, and we can just say, hello. And when we click that, our cat's going to say, hello. And just so you can see the difference between the say and the think, we can do the same thing here. We can think hello, and when you look at that, you can just see the difference in the thought bubbles. They do exactly the exact same thing. One just looks like it's saying it, one makes it look like he's thinking. And so these are the simple outputs. We could put our variables in there, which we've done earlier. So I could put my lettuce variable, I could drag it in there, it could display whatever your variable is gonna be. We have lots of options as we go, but for now, just a simple output, we're using these two particular blocks. Over in Python, over in Python, we're going to be doing the exact same thing. So we're just going to type print. All right, we're going to put our, our brackets around. And then we can use single or double. I always like double. Um, and we can just type in the hello and finish it. All right, so we go to run this code. It's going to ask us to save like it always does. And in the shell, it's going to output. You can see that it's right there. It says hello, whatever we put in. So we've already been doing this. But just to make this very clear in terms of a simple output, we can use the print statement. All right, my friends, I hope you found this helpful or a good reminder. It's just some things for you to think about as we continue to move down this, this learning journey of Scratch versus Python. As always, my friends, stay